such a gentleman. Let's all the girls out first. There's Mr. Cockadoo crowing. <laughs> What's that all about? Hey, everybody out here, just sitting here. Ooh, did you hear that? Did you hear it? Just sitting here having my coffee with all of you in front of the chickens. And I have a feeling today is going to be another really, really great day. Boy, Romeo. So let's talk about Romeo. He was gifted to me from Lena from Red Road Homestead. She bought him off of her neighbor and I found out the night before I was going to be getting him because she called me and said, well, he's got a few roosters and whatnot and described a few of them. I got the guy on the phone and talked to him for a little while. Um, I asked if he, if, <laughs> if, uh, Romeo was a true Americana or an Easter Egger and he said that he was a true Americana. So there is a difference between an Americana and Americana which are really just Easter Eggers. And the night before I had gone online and researched the breed and found out that there's there's a difference. Some people call them Americanas when they're really just Easter Eggers and this was confirmed. Somebody contacted me via my Twitter account um, in a direct message and I don't have explicit um, permission to you know give the account name out of who uh, told me this information but I will tell you that this individual is a chicken expert. So thank you very much for the information. I really appreciate it and it's just helping me learn and grow and I love this new rooster so let's get to know him a little bit better. And here's the message. Sorry to bring you bad news but your rooster has yellow legs which means he is not an Americana. They all should have blue slate legs. He might be an Americana, which is the same thing as an Easter Egger. A few hatcheries started calling their Easter Eggers Americanas for marketing purposes, counting on people to think Americana and Americana are the same breed, but they're not the same. Americanas are recognized by the American Poultry Association and must meet their standards to be called an Americana. The Americanas just are just barnyard mixes with good chances of blue or green eggs and the chickens are clucking in the background. Oh my goodness. Um, where was I? He probably won't have both blue egg genes, which only matters if you want to hatch your own eggs. He will probably be a great rooster. Don't let me discourage you. It's just his egg color genetics are unknown. Here's a side by side. On the left is an Easter egger and Romeo's in the center and the true Americana is on the right. And you can see there are differences in them, but they all look very similar. But as the person who contacted me via Twitter says, if you look at the legs, that's gonna be one telltale sign. And there are other features that you can tell them apart from. And I'll leave a link down below to the breed standard for the Americana chicken and so that you can know what it is. It doesn't matter to me. I love Romeo. I don't care if he's an Easter Egger or an Americana, Americana or whatever. He's beautiful and he keeps the girls in line so I love him. It was such a surprise for Lena to come with that rooster and tell me that, well, I was prepared to pay for him myself. I had talked to the guy on the phone. We agreed upon a price. And then when Lena brought him over, she says, this is your gift. We're gifting him to you. So thank you so much, Lena, from Red Road Homestead. And Guy, thank you so much. And I'm still wearing your necklace. I have not taken this thing off. Look at it. Look at, can you see it? It's a little mushroom inside a mushroom. I love it. I will probably never take this off. I used to wear peace signs almost exclusively, but that went out a long time ago. Um, probably the main reason is because um, anything with nickel in it, I can't wear. So, I mean, and even a lot of the silver stuff and gold, I can't wear it around my neck. I can't wear it on my fingers. 
My ears got all infected one time when I had some earrings that weren't very good. Um, well, it wasn't they weren't very good. It's just that they had um, nickel in them, so I couldn't I couldn't wear them because I would break out all over the place, and my whole neck and chest would break out. So they strung this up on a piece of leather, and it is perfect. It's so comfortable. I mean, I'll take it off when I shower and, and whatnot, but um, it's just lovely. So thank you so much. So well, let's just uh, see what these beautiful chickens are up to. Would you look at this? I know this is Patsy. Everybody else is over there. The rooster is kind of going in and out of the van coop. He just is scoping everything out, so I'm glad he went up by himself. Last night I kind of had to usher him up into the van because he didn't really know it, he was supposed to go in there, but now he's going in and out. All of the girls are over there. Except for this one, and I know it's Patsy because I handled her so much in the beginning. I think she loves me. She is the nicest leghorn. I tell you what, those others over there, they are vicious. <laughs> but they're learning. They are learning. Here he is. Hi, Romeo. I decided to go ahead and take one of the commenter's suggestions and just bring some dirt in that they like to lay in, and it is this kind of dirt. So I just poked a bunch of holes in the bottom of that pool so that when it rains, the water can drain out so it doesn't turn into one big, you know, muddy mess. I mean, it's going to get muddy when it rains, but at least if the water can drain out, it won't stay wet. And it looks like they're having a lot of fun pecking through it. I do know there are a ton of bugs in there. So they're going to have a heyday for a while, and we'll just see if they end up nesting in it or just pooping in it. <laughs> hey, the little girls actually get it. That one over there has been dust bathing. These are just grazing because there's still so many bugs in there. But she got there and uh, fluffed her feathers around and whatnot, so hooray. At least somebody gets it. It's not just a food bowl. Here, smart chicken. Let's see what Romeo has to say about it. Good lord, he is just so pretty. Oh, big dad is in town. <laughs> Romeo's such a gentleman. Look at, he's letting this little rock kind of forage around in there with him. Now, if it was the leghorns, that wouldn't be the case. He is a good rooster. Don't disappoint me, Patsy. Good girl. I just love it that they're using this little roost. And you know what? These leghorns, they'll let Big Daddy up. Romeo. But not the little girls. Now, if the little girls were up there, Romeo would let them stay. He's just a gentleman. Oh my goodness, would you look at that frisbee. <laughs> yeah, so much for it being indestructible. <laughs> she don't care. She loves playing with it. She will play with it until there are no pieces left. Look at her go. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> oh, silly dog. Silly girl. <laughs> she can be a pain in the you-know-what, but I sure do love her. Oh, look at that. Now I got two of the little girls just kind of like taking a little nap right down by me. <laughs> 
Oh yeah, he's been crowing all morning. I love it. I wonder if my neighbors are upset. <laughs> the leghorns have been free ranging, uh, but I'm gonna let them back in here in a second. Now I got four of them here. They just love to be my big mama, which is me, I guess. Oh my goodness, they're just so pretty. And that brown one's feathers are just getting so gorgeous. I love to see them all snuggled up. And they're right by my feet. Yep, my feet with my sandals on it. I love chickens. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.